sabr, and some people seem to believe that sabr means doing nothing. For example, a person is in an abusive situation. Sister, have sabr. Yes, that's great advice. Have sabr and get out. The problem is that have sabr means in the context of what it's used is do nothing. Right? Swallow the poison, keep swallowing the poison, and do nothing. Just keep swallowing it. Right? It's as if we're telling people, turn the other cheek. What does turn the other cheek mean? It means you slap me on this cheek, so let me turn it so you can slap me on this. Not Islam, folks. <laughs> That's not an Islamic concept. That is not an Islamic response to oppression. That's a different kind of religion, all right? Islam is not about turn the other cheek. Islam is not a passive religion. Islam is not a religion that says, hey, let me lie down to make it easier for you to walk on top of me, you know, walk on, uh, 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 walk on all over me. That's not, that is not an Islamic concept and it has come from culture, tradition, other faiths. But what does Islam say about oppression? I'll tell you what Islam says about oppression. The Prophet says, if you see something wrong, what are you supposed to do? Try to change it. You see that? He doesn't say if you see something wrong, turn the other cheek. He doesn't say if you see something wrong, be passive. Try to change is active. It's an action. It's taking action against that thing that is wrong. It is taking action against oppression. All right, it's an action. So he says, try to change it with your hand. And if you cannot, then try to change it with your tongue. Speak out against it. And if you cannot, then at the very least, hate it in your heart. And that is the weakest of Iman. <coughs> Whoa, what has the Prophet I said, have just done? He has linked, who thinks? He has linked act, taking action against wrong, with Iman. Make sense? He has take he has made taking action against oppression, against wrong, as part of Iman. Make sense? So he said that if we don't at least, even if our hands are tied and our tongues are tied, the least that we should do is hate the oppression. Because if we come to a point where even the wrongdoing doesn't bother us inside anymore, then that's an indication of a dead heart. If, if, if things being happening that are, that are wrong, that are oppressive, if we see oppression and it doesn't even bother us, if we see abuse and it doesn't even bother us, if we see wrongdoing and it doesn't even bother us inside, then that's an indication that even the Iman is lower than the weakest of Iman. It means it's a problem with the heart, a problem with Iman. This idea that sabr means do nothing is not from Islam. That's not the meaning. That's not because sabr itself is a very deep concept which includes action. Sabr is an active word as well.